consideration when choosing between a mono hole or a catamaran is time at anchor. Most of the time when you're cruising, uh, it's not you're not in passage, you're at anchor. And so <clears throat> if you happen to have an anchorage that's a little bit rolly and not quite calm and peaceful and flat water, the the rolling motion of a mono hole be a lot more pronounced than the rolling motion of a cat. So another difference between the two is you have more space because there's usually multiple cabins um, in each hole and then you know it allows for like a trampoline and then they have the pass through which is usually where they have the galley and like a really nice large um, living space. So you have more space than a mono hall normally does uh, of the same length. However, then you can't get close and snuggle. The point of the video is not to say one is better than the other because that's not true. It's your own personal preference and what you need out of a boat to live your dreams. So get on the water. You guys want to know something funny? So we've lived on this boat for almost a year and why project tonight is related to the propane project but it's also going through part of the boat that we've never looked through before so let me show you what i'm talking about so down here so we're out here in the cockpit down here in the lazarette there's this nice shelf all of these things that are on this shelf <laughs> we've never sorted through never pulled out never looked at don't have any idea of what it is or what's in there so my job tonight is pull all that stuff out to make room for how the propane hose is going to be ran clean it up too try to paint it as well um, first things first all that stuff gotta come out so I've seen this thing and I don't really know what it is let's pull it out you can hear Devin in the galley banging around cooking dinner uh, but this thing is interesting Ugh, it's awkward What is this thing? What is it? Some fishing device. My wife's a vegetarian. She doesn't even like the smell of fish. Probably not going to keep that, but let's check the value before we just give it away or chuck it. This is a downrigger Ten Reels Fathom Master 600, $549 new on Amazon, 80 to 90 to 100 bucks used on eBay. See, it's stuff like this where it's like, do I spend my time creating a listing, posting the photos, writing a description, replying to people, meeting people, and sell it for 80 to 90 bucks? I don't know. I'll talk to Devin. Let's go on to the next one. Let's see what else is down here. <clears throat> All right. Oh, you know what this is? This looks like a bosun's chair. <clears throat> oh, God. 
Yeah, that's a bosun's chair. So, when you want to go up the mast, this thing hooks on to a, a halyard. This thing hooks onto a halyard like that. And then you can sit in there, probably with your back on those straps, and you can sit in there and get hauled up the mast so you can do some work. The funny thing is when we when we bought this boat, we wanted to send Devin up. We bought a bosun's chair for her, <laughs> and we had one the whole time. So we have a brand new bosun's chair. This one is pretty old and crusty looking, and it is a safety thing, so that's probably gonna go in the trash. Let's see what else. All right, so we have a dust pan, a little broom. That actually might be worth keeping because what I've noticed is we have an inside dustpan and broom for like the inside of the boat and I've been using it out here for the outside boat stuff so maybe we have two. One for the dirty gross oil jobs and then the inside one to keep it nice. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to that, keep that. Alright, <clears throat> what is... So just some wiring, some gross whatever. That is an old engine mount. Interesting. So the way that the engine sits, uh, it would be bolted to this uh, post here. And then these are rubber vi vibration pads to keep the vibration down and keep the noise down. It's got some surface rust, um, but these are notoriously expensive and they do wear out. So that is probably going to be cleaned up and kept. And it is Yanwar branded. So that is a keeper. Okay, let's keep going. What is this? Spectra Water Maker Cleaning Compound. Nope. This. How heavy that is. Oh, it's a giant fishing weight. Man, 10 pound fishing weight. <laughs> I don't. Whatever we do, we better not catch a fish that needs a 10 pound sinker. That's. I don't want to deal with fish that's strong enough to have a 10 pound sinker or a, <laughs> to need a 10 pound sinker. So that I'm going to get rid of. Uh, Multi-purpose lithium grease. If that is in good condition. Oh, nope. Cracked. Nope. We're going to get rid of that. You know why it's cracked? It's probably because this fishing, fishing weight cracked it. What else is in here? Um, oh, old piece of teak. Looks like it's in good shape. I will keep that. Uh, a hose clamp for like garden hoses. That is gross. And this is an old uh, like flare fitting for maybe like a fuel line. Uh, that might be kept too, but okay. So let's pull this stuff out and keep going. So you know that engine mount? This one. Kind of hard to see. Backlit, sorry. $130 to $200. And it's not brand new, but it definitely cleaned up okay. And the rust is manageable. Like this was just surface rust on there and there's some good thick metal there um, she's a keeper we're gonna keep that in our spares I'll probably spray it with like some uh, water displacement 40 to keep the the rust off and the moisture off but 
Well, there's the keeper. Some of the things you buy with a boat you didn't even know you bought, and now you don't need to buy it later. It's pretty cool. Keep going. All right, making progress. So, what else do we got down here? It's really gross. Can't wait to get that painted. All right, check this out. So, marine diesel additive. Um, prob we have some of this bought new uh, last year. So I'm gonna. I'll keep it if the if it's not expired because those might have, I think those do have expiration dates. Same with this one. Uh, probably has an expiration date, so we'll put that over there. Uh, but if you're not aware, the uh, the purpose of these is um, there's microorganisms that can grow and live and thrive in diesel. And so this is a, these are biocides that kills, uh, well, this is a biocide. So this kills the, uh, that microbial growth. And then this one says it's an additive. So improves fuel efficiency and performance, reduces soot and smoke, increases cetane levels up to six points. No idea what that is. Stabilizes diesel, prevents sludge. So a little bit like the biocide. Um, I don't know, additives, take them or leave them. Project Farm probably has an idea of what that means or, or if they work, uh, we can link to that in the blog posts. Um, but yeah, I'll check the expiration dates and then uh, properly dispose of them if they're no good. We'll take them to the recyclers. Uh, same thing with this high performance hydraulic oil that is for our old hydraulic system that we're not going to use because we're taking the hydraulic system completely out so the hydraulic oil is going to go to the recyclers and then heavy duty diesel engine oil that's a gallon i mean that's kind of expensive and it's almost full I don't know if this expires, but I might keep that if it doesn't expire. And then more uh, biocide. And this one looks even older. Ah, oh, look at that, 15 bucks. That was expensive. Probably some remote island or maybe that's Australian dollars or New Zealand dollars, who knows, but that again, might be expired if it is goes to the recyclers okay let's pull this stuff out and do a little research and keep going i think i know what this is i believe this is a oh sorry to bump you this is a tiller extender for the outboard motor so you put this on your outboard motor throttle and it clamps down and holds onto it. And then you can sit more forward in the dinghy to get a better uh, weight distribution. And then you, can, but you can still turn it. And then down here, this, was supposed to release to extend it, but it's frozen. It's frozen. This is cracked right here too. Uh, it's pretty gross. Can't imagine it would be worth that much money, but let's, uh, I'll do a little bit of there's no branding on it too, so I don't even know what to look up. You know, I'm not even gonna bother. That, that one's gonna go in the trash. We will continue on. Okay, so Devin got me the tripod. So I'm looking at this thing. So it's got this like squishy cap on the bottom. And it's a hollow tube. That's generally flexible, but then check this out. 
Another tube comes out of it, and then there's a little fitting on the end. And that pops off. So, and then this is not, is like too big to fit even in the end of that. So I really don't know what this is. Um, and then you, like, if this was designed to, like, fill uh, your oil from an awkward angle, like, maybe you need to put the that on the there, and then you could, like, fill it, like, way over there. But that's not even a very secure fit. The problem is, we got the second one, too. What are these things? So this one like also has this like sliding cap on the end of it. Just like that, kinda. You know what this one is though? This is for a drinking water. This is drinking water. That's trash. But if anybody knows what this one is, I am all ears. <laughs> I would love to know what this thing is. I'm not gonna throw it away yet. I'm gonna keep it and it'll go into the pile as a mystery. And if anybody knows what this is, let us know with a comment down below. Guys, this $43.66 on Amazon. $43 for this tiny little thing. It's a very specialized piece of equipment, but $43. Totally keeping this. So our boat purchase price is getting better by the minute. Oh, I found more teak. Oh, man, someone's going by really fast. But this teak, it's kind of interesting. It's got uh, that unique shape in it right there. Um, awesome holes and it's kind of cut off there and it has a, that looks like um, one of the mounting points for some hardware. Uh, and it's heavy, it, got, it has some good weight. So this is a very dense, old piece of teak. So even if we don't know where it goes or if we don't use it for its original intended purpose um, it's great to keep this stuff around uh, if you keep it dry out of the sun um, and store it well like we could you know cut this for like supports or uh, backing blocks or um, like core core repairs with um, yeah, mounting points, and that, or even like repair some teak inside of the boat, like teak furniture or anything like that. So these are keepers, even though they might not have an immediate use and you might not use them day to day, finding teak is becoming harder and harder and harder. So, and this is a decent size too. So I'm keeping that because might might need it let's keep going and see what else we can find so this is just from cleaning the inside of the lazarette here so that's the the old <laughs> That's the new. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's just do this. We'll do one hand wipe where it's already been clean. So, my hands are a little bit dirty, so I did get this cloth a little bit dirty right there. But let's just take this, we'll do one hand wipe.
Ta-da! 40 years of stuff and grime. And I'm sure that doesn't help with the smell of the boat either. And that's on the inside of the boat, like down here. Sure, there's an engine and stuff like that, but <sighs> not cool, not cool. This is why we are doing what we're doing, so we can have a nice, clean, healthy boat to call home. Do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is? R. So, to the Victor Goes Spoils, let's show you some of our booty from the Lazarette. So remember, this is a year has gone by since we've lived on the boat. Coming up on a year and a half since we bought the boat. We've never gone through that shelf in Lazarette. So let's check out our booty. <clears throat> so over here, we're gonna keep the, not this one. Let's not do that one. That one's a little old. We're gonna keep the Bio Doctor and the Bio JF Biocide Treatment. I cleaned up the, uh, the broom and dustpan here. This is a fitting for our fuel line, so I feel like uh, if the previous owner kept that, that might be worth keeping around. And we do have some upcoming fuel system projects. The $43 Raycor filter, come on. The, oops, sorry, um, $130 to $200 engine mount. Various pieces of teak. This one was quite interesting. If if I see where that might come from, I might just pop that back in. I'm not sure. And then the mystery item back here. The long red thing with the, the tube inside the tube. And then, of course, the winch cover. <laughs> so those are the uh, those are the keepers. Now there was a decent bag of just trash. This is gonna go to the hazardous waste recyclers. And then there's a free pile up um, on the boat, or not on the boat, but at the marina. So I'm gonna give this away, put that in the free pile. That's the Fathom Master 600 downrigger. And then this 10 pound <laughs> fishing weight. God dang, I still don't know why you'd have a 10 pound weight. <laughs> what are we catching jaws out here? Um, so anyway, that's the result. We got a good start on the cleaning as well. So yeah, all in all, a good day with a little bit of booty. <laughs>